Boston College quarterback Matt Ryan. Size is a talent when you talk about quarterbacks in this league. And Matt Ryan, every bit of six foot five, and he plays tall, stands tall. One of the reasons why he has success. Freeman's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Now first and ten. And White can't hold on that time. For this offense, one of the most consistent threats they've had since being a first-round pick in 2005 out of UAB is Roddy White. If you give Matt Ryan the time to throw the football between Julio Jones and this, no one's going to get him now. The 10! White takes the hit and brought down. It is hard to make a tackle from behind out there in open space with the speed of all these guys in the NFL, but a good job that time by the defense making that tackle. Hand off made. Carter's there to take it down. This linebacking core is the heart and soul of this defensive unit. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. The Falcons offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Just a quick drop back. The reception by Harry Douglas. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. They bring back out the offense to go for it. The Falcons turn the ball over on downs. No margin for error here with the offense. As a quarterback, you just misjudged the talent on the other side. And what a play by the linebacker picking off the pass. What a pair of hands also. The Falcons set to take over here on offense, partner. And this team has to have a little chip. Touchdown, Falcons. Hester's second touchdown of the game. They take the lead here late in the first quarter with the touchdown. Yeah, nothing like it. Before that first quarter was up, they found a way to get in the end zone and get that score to take the lead. And, hey, that's a good feeling. The Falcons now will tack on the extra point. Intercepted. Nice job by the defense that time, stopping the two-point conversion. It is so tough. From the two-yard line, so many things to think about on the defensive side, but they were ready that time. Jenkins has got it. Ball is out. The kicking team, a foot race to the end zone. The ball is fumbled. And he's brought to the ground. This game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. The Buccaneers just gave up some big turnover points. And let's see if they can hold on the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going, to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. Got the completion. And in for the touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. And the hands 
team does his job as the onside kick attempt is thwarted. The Falcons offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. That's his first reception today. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. Freeman's in the backfield, single back set. Ryan connects with White. the way he always locks in and concentrates on the catch. Man, he's got hands like glue. When you shake his hand, he can break yours because that's how strong they are. So not surprised to see him just reach out and just snatch the football out of the air. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Jim, look at that. The defensive line all shifting down inside. They're expecting a run right up the middle. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Third and goal at the two. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. Hey, how about that? The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the... So many things you can do from the two-yard line now. The NFL, all the teams can spread you out. They can run it. The quarterback can keep it. The pick plays, the passes. Very tough for the defense to stop the two-point conversion. Landry's got it on the return. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. You can never talk enough about special teams in the NFL. It truly is a third of the game. And when you get a kick return for a touchdown, that just gives you so much momentum. Look at the blocks. Look at the speed of the returner. Great job. Leads to a touchdown. Green's taking the handoff. Ball is out. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. Falcons are about to have the football kick their way. Their lead has been trimmed. The scores 21 to 19. And unable to pull off the onside kick, the hands team comes away with the football. The Falcons coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation. The Falcons are up right now. And credit goes to the quarterback here, partner. Ryan's on fire. It's an awesome feeling as a quarterback to be in rhythm to get people open and have time to throw the football down the field. That's why they're winning, Jim. You said it right. The quarterback is hot. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. And now returning to the field, just two minutes to go, and it's a big spot as we've got an offense that would love to increase that lead before the intermission. It's intercepted! Watching the ball fly deep down the field has been something we've grown accustomed to seeing today, Phil. And it's led to a bunch of big plays and touchdowns. It's so exciting to see the football thrown deep down the field and a guy catches it and runs for a touchdown. 
It's like going to a baseball game and seeing a home run. You're watching something special, and Jim, we have seen that here in this game today. Intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Falcons, and I have to wonder, where are they going to be mentally after that last drive when they were moving the football only to give it away on an interception? How are they going to be out there on this possession? Well, I think it's tough. I, I really do, Jim. You know, nowadays, quarterbacks, it seems like the pass is intercepted. It's wide open. He's in the clear. Carter is such an impressive athlete. We know he can tackle and stop the run game, but how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and picking it off. Good job. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Well, Jim, that field goal puts him in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense, and what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. The receiving team has the recovery. The Falcons will try to put a little drive together and not give the football away, Phil, as each team seems to like one on uh, treat it like it's a hot potato. Well, sometimes it is a hot potato. Did you know back in 1985, Jim, I set a record for fumbles in a football season? It wasn't easy to do, but I accomplished it. It was a lot of hard work, and I got it done. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with a hurry-up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. And they're all over him for the sack. Ah, uh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. The Falcons snap it at the 41. He reaches up and grabs it. That's his first reception today. How about how high it went up in the air to get that one? Unbelievable job that time. And again, that's part of every offense now in the NFL. It wasn't like that when I played. We didn't have guys that blew up and make catches like that. Falcons have to call one right here, and they do. And they are out of timeouts. Line of scrimmage, the 27. Second and 11. And intercepted! Nearing the half in what has been an offensive shootout, and finally, one of these defenses steps up and makes a play. Sooner or later, somebody on the defensive side, if you're attacking the offense, you're going to get in position to make a play, and the defense did it right there. Reception. The Buccaneers call for the timeout. We'll take a break with them. We'll be right back after these messages. The Buccaneers will punt the football away. Hester's going to try and return this punt. The gain of 10. The Buccaneers decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. First down at the 41. On the money. A first half that saw both offenses running up and down the field. We'll see if they can maintain this pace in the second half. Larry Ridley is coming up next. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios. And halftime, we're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. 
the Buccaneers offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, partner. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you, you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you've got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. Keep the momentum on your side. you got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Green takes his spot in the backfield. Wide to the left. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. Here they come. The football at the one. Let's go. Let's First and goal. Sean Green. assignments the missed assignment allows the penetration by the defense they tackle the running back in the end zone and they get the safety brought down at the 38 and a run back of about eight The Falcons take it from the 38. Over the middle and incomplete that time. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. The Falcons take it from the 38. Trying to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. Well, it's do or die right now, and you've got to go ahead and make the call to give your offense a chance to get this first down. And I know this team, they have a lot at their disposal. I think there's a play in there that's going to give them a good chance. Climbs the ladder, and he has it. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. That's reception number four for him. The Falcons are really a true football team. Their defense, we know it's good. They don't want to just rely on it. The offense, nice job picking up that first down. Eat the clock up. Keep the pace of the game on your side. Small lead here in the second half. That was a good job. And he is brought down at the 39. The Falcons did a good job that time. Throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards. Now second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. Ryan's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Falcons have it at the 39. And that game's won. Taking a look at the rush totals, both these defenses have to be happy with those numbers. Yes, Jim, I'm sure they're happy what they've done. They've made the offense one-dimensional. So when you have an offense that can't run, just think about one thing. And what's that? Go after that quarterback. Matt Ryan under center. Freeman's got it on the handoff. Slashes to the left side. David's just not an outside rusher. We see it right here. What a job showing that strength. Stays in position, and the run's coming outside, and he stops it for no gain. The football is at the 38. Second and 10. Hankerson makes the play, and that's David in on the stop. How about that? We just saw the fly route straight down the field by the receiver. Long throw by the quarterback and a nice completion. The Falcons take it from the 23. Going for the home run. Intercepted. They bring him to the turf. This building hosted a number of Olympic medal events back in 1996 to go along with its other history, Super Bowls and Final Fours and others, the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Met by Reed that time. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. 
and why not? He's talented, and every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. The Buccaneers take it from the 28. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. We've got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. First down at the 30. It's over to Evans for a completion. That's his third catch of the day. First down, offense readying for the snap. No time to waste. They hurry to the line. It's the old Marino play. A fake spike. And looking to throw. Ball is out. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. Evans, the injured player, and we'll take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Falcons team official. He does have an upper body injury of some kind, but guys, it doesn't appear to be a big concern. The medical staff's cleared him to return as soon as he feels ready. Back to you. And he comes down. No, the defender tips it out. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. The clocks really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. When you can't hit the quarterback and put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time, and throws it down the field for another completion. First down at the 37. Airing it out. Balls it in. What a call and what a catch. Timeouts call. We're going to step aside. Be back in just a moment. Coming to the line at the 37. Here's the first snap after the big play. With the long pass down the field, the ball is jarred loose. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. We're late in the game, and the offense is in no hurry. Second down and 10. It's intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Buccaneers retaking the field with their offense in a game that hasn't been very pretty here of late. Turnovers by both teams on the last two possessions. Well, define the word pretty. I think if you ask the defensive teams, hey, they love this game. It's beautiful. So, so far, the takeaways by the defense, that's the story. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop. Intercepted! The Falcons thrilled with the interception, and the fact is this game is all but in the books. Well, you talk about this defense, they are not afraid to take a chance. That time they took the chance, and they came up with the big interception. First down at the 47. Freeman's brought down after picking up just a yard. That was a predictable play call here in the fourth quarter. You got a, you got a little lead, and you're trying to run the football to run out the clock, but the defense was ready and stopped it for a short game. Second down and eight. Ryan over to Douglas. Mark him down for another reception. Falcons use another timeout here, and they have one left. First down at the 41. Here's the handoff. That is a strong eye. Yeah, I love situations like this. This is when I was at my best, getting in the huddle and telling everybody all the things 
Put two hands on the football. Don't anybody jump off sides. Don't take any chances. And most of all, stay in bounds. Loss of three on the play. Interesting situation here for the offense. They got a lead here in the second half, but it's third and long. And, and you always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback, so he has to be smart. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chances. Third and 13. Going for the deep ball, and they can't connect. That was a nice call by the defensive coordinator that time. He stays aggressive and he puts the offense in a fourth down situation. The Falcons turn the ball over on downs. The Buccaneers offense comes out here, Phil, desperately looking to put a drive together that can give them a chance here late to win this game. Always the tough thing to do in a situation like this for the offense is don't try to make the big play. Let it happen. Take a short gain if that's what the defense is giving you, especially on first down. Get this drive started by doing the right thing. First down, pressure on every snap now. First down at the 49. Heaving it down the field. What a catch. That's reception number two for him. In the NFL, it's all about situations now. You're down. There's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive player. He picks up some good yards and then gets out of bounds and stops the clock. Hits the upright and goes wide of the mark. Well, when a field goal kicker misses a try late in the game where it could have put his team ahead, what it does, it puts the pressure right on the defense. Can they go out there and get a three downs and out? The Falcons offense doesn't want to do anything to screw this one up at this point, Phil. They've got the lead, and they've got the football late in the game. Wow, you're such a positive guy, Jim. I like that comment. Go down there and tell them that. Don't screw it up. But what do you do in a situation like this? I always like to try to draw the defense off sides on first down because they're anxious, and you can take advantage of that. Going to go to the hurry up with under a minute to play. We'll just spike it right here. No, wait. It's, it's a, another interception. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. The Buccaneers offense still has a chance here, Phil. Late in the game, can they make something happen? Well, it's going to be interesting to see, Jim. I think let's look at it from the defensive side. Know the situation. If they get the ball, they catch a pass, make sure you come up and make the tackle. Don't let them catch and run and get a big play against you. Is every win sweet, or are the close ones that much more satisfying than just blowing someone out for 60 minutes? Well, the close ones are more satisfying because the tension is there longer. And the longer you're under tension, when it finally uh, comes to fruition, you win, it just makes it that much more exciting, Jim.